The last time I talked to you from here, it was about the plight of Amerasian children. Amerasian children, half American, half Asian. Children of American servicemen, abandoned in Asia. There was legislation pending in the lame duck session of Congress to make it easier for them to come in the United States. But that legislation was in difficulty. It finally died during the lame duck session of Congress last year. There are thousands of children of Americans stranded in the Far East. They are outcasts in the countries where they live because they are of mixed race. They have been abandoned by their fathers who either want no part of them or who don't even know they exist. A group of Georgians has been pushing to get legislation passed that would make it easier for these children to enter the United States. They have been trying to get a change in the immigration laws that would give them a preference in their country's annual quotas. A bill to do that has been introduced in the House by Congressman Stuart McKinney of Connecticut. I would suggest we're probably dealing with about 20,000 or 30,000 uh, children that, that would want to come here. The fact of the matter is, though, that until you see it, you cannot believe discrimination in Asia. Uh, these children are just literally doomed to a life of, of dishwashing or, or something, even if they're brilliant. Uh, in some countries, they're not even allowed housing. And uh, they are our children, and we have a responsibility, uh, I think. What do you think chances are for passage? I think they're very good, Will. I think that um, I'm hoping we'll get over 100 co-sponsors. We uh, will get everyone on board that was on board last time. We have a much more friendly uh, committee set up, uh, and I think we can go with this thing. The bill still has a long way to go before it becomes law. It has again been referred to the House Judiciary Committee, and it could be as long as a year before hearings are held. As Congressman McKinney says, the bill does not have a very high priority here. And meanwhile, those children are trapped in the Orient in countries that don't want them.